So the first step is going to require you to install or connect your Ag Leader 1500, 1600, or 6000 receiver to your Ag Leader Integra display. This is connected to your standard Ag Leader display harness and will require it to be installed and connected in order to change the messages on that GPS receiver. The GPS messages can be done with several displays, but this specific video is going to be utilizing the Ag Leader Integra display. Once the Integra is turned on and you're on your home screen, we need to press on the wrench icon in the upper right hand corner. Once our configuration setup box comes up, select our GPS icon. We then select the wrench icon based on the GPS selection. When you select port A, it takes you to the messages page. We need to validate that the following messages are selected. G G A V T G Z D A R M C and the GPS position rate is either set to 5 or 10 Hertz. I would recommend selecting it to 10 or the maximum that it allows you to. This gives you a faster update rate of position and inherently allow the GPS to perform better. The setup on the Ag Leader receiver is complete. Those settings that you changed are now saved on your 1500, 1600 or 6000 receiver. You now can shut down or shut off your Integra display. Now disconnect your factory GPS connection from your Ag Leader Integra and we're now going to move on to installing the universal Ag Leader adapter harness. Locate the Ag Leader adapter harness. There's a shorter harness with two 9-pin serial connections and a small triangle 2-pin connector on one side of the harness. It is recommended to install your Viper 4 and associated display harnesses and power cables in the tractor prior to installing this GPS adapter cable. Once your DGPS connection is connected, your SW power out is connected, go to the other end of your Ag Leader adapter harness. The other end, you will have a 9 pin serial end. You then need to find or locate your Ag Leader GPS cable, which comes from your 15, 16, or 6000 receiver, and plug those two connections together. Of course, route the harness to your GPS receiver so it is out of harm's way and zip tie. Mount your receiver onto the center of the tractor cab and the installation of the adapter cable is complete. Again, we need to first make sure our messages are correct set up on an Integra before we get to installing these cables. After you've installed these cables and you've turned the Viper 4 on, you should be able to locate the LED or indicator light on the GPS receiver and see what color the light is. And when it has GPS signal, the light will turn green. Once the light is turned green, please go to the Viper 4 recognition setup, which can be found in your instruction sheet for GPS that came with your kit, the quick reference guides provided from Kinsey, or please contact the Kinsey service department for further information on how to validate and recognize the Ag Leader receiver on the Viper 4.